Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, The Engineering Experience. Today I'm going to go through the book called Art of Electronics, um, Exercise 1.9. Um, this exercise um, asks you to work out a method for measuring small leakage current resistances, which can be in the region of 100 mega ohm plus. So let's get going. So exercise 1.9. Um, I'm going to summarize the question a little bit here. Um, it says measure a, measure a small current that flows through a thousand mega ohm res resistor as uh, labeled as a leakage resistor with a standard digital multimeter on a two volt range which has a 10 mega ohm internal resistance. The question also says that you have a 10 volt power supply um, and the question is, how can you use all the information that's given to you to measure the leakage current and the resistance accurately? So first of all, let's write down everything we know about the circuit and draw out a circuit schematic for this. So we have a 10 volt power supply and we have a um, D DMM set to its 2 volt range with an internal resistance of 10 mega ohms. And we have a load resistor or a leakage resistor of a thousand mega ohms. We can connect the components in series to create a circuit like this to measure the leakage current. Obviously, we have the source on the left, we have the leakage resistance on the right, and in the middle, we have the model of a voltmeter. So, 10 volt power supply, 10 mega ohm. Um, resistor to model the DMM and a thousand mega ohm resistor to to model the leakage resistance. So first of all using Kirchhoff's current law we know that current going through here is the same across all components so current in the loop from here is the same. So we can say I in and giving these components a label, we can say the, the, the voltage across the multimeter or DMM, I'm going to call RM, and the voltage across the leakage resistance, I'm going to call VL. So we know that IN is equal to the current through I, um, this resistor here, I'm going to call MIM, and the current through this resistor, RL, is also the same, so IL. So IN is equal to IM which is also equal to IL due to Kirchhoff's current law. Now using uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law, we can say um, that the voltage across the load resistor RL or the leakage resistor RL is equal to Vs, so our 10 volt power supply minus the voltage drop across um, the resistor um, RM. Notice that the circuit is basically a voltage divider with two known resistances. So we know the resistance of the meter is 10 mega ohms. We know the leakage resistance is a thousand mega ohms. When, when we use this technique, the voltmeter itself, basically this resistor here, makes up uh, one, one part of the potential divider. And the voltage across the leakage resistor Obviously, we cannot measure directly as it's going to be very small, so we can use Kirchhoff's voltage law. Um, the current through the voltmeter's resistance, um, so we're using Ohm's law now, uh, is given by V equals IR, so um, rearranging that to get I by itself. So we got um, the current through this resistor here is equal to the voltage across the resistor divided by the resistance itself. Um, so that's the equation that I've put down here. The current through the leakage resistor, this resistor here, can be calculated the same way using Ohm's law. So IL is equal to VL, which is the voltage drop across this resistor, divided by the resistor value itself. So we've got um, what VL, which we haven't calculated yet, divided by a thousand mega ohms. From Kirchhoff's current law, we know that IM and IRL are equal. 
So we can substitute the two resistance, two equations from here and here into this equation here. So Vm divided by Rm is equal to Vl divided by Rl. Now we can rearrange this equation to get um, Rl by itself. We see you can do this on your own time, but Rl is equal to Rm times Vl divided by Vm. And uh, now finally, we can substitute the value of VL from what we know here. So the, vo the VM value will be given to us by the multimeter and VN VS is a known voltage source. So substituting this equation into this one here, we get the output as RL equals RM in brackets VN minus VM divided by VM. And obviously this all the, all the parameters of this equation are known and we can calculate the basically the uh, resistance of the leakage and uh, from there we can get the current as well. Thank you for watching my video. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And next time I'll be going through exercise 1.1 and hopefully we can get into a bit more practical stuff later on. I think that'll be very interesting. Thank you for watching. Cheers for now.